Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, PC Guys Off Grid Cabin, where the work is never done, we're doing it just for fun. We're actually here at the cabin for a change. Now I know that we haven't done any videos in a few weeks, other than of course our cooking video where we made, made some cornbread, or rather she did. Uh, I, I don't know how quite how to say this except we've been going through a little bit of a difficult time here and my work hasn't been real steady and right now she's not working at all so it's kind of put a big financial strain on us where we just haven't been able to take and get up here and do any capping time but we're here today and we got a few things done uh, we uh, had a couple of trees that we had dropped and we cleared uh, went and cleared all the debris up from that and so that's a good thing but I may have some good news and there's been a, uh, a job that I've been interested in applying for for a very long time However, job openings at this particular place are few and far between. Well, the, uh, last week they posted a job opening and I applied for it. It's about 20 miles from the cabin here. So, we're going to take and give that a shot and see if I can get my foot in the door with them. I'm uh, very qualified for the job, you know, but... Yeah. When you're applying for jobs, you never know what's going to happen. You know, people are funny about things sometimes, and they have the idea of the person that they're looking for, and if you don't fit their molds, well, then there you go. So we're going to give it a shot, and if that happens, then we're probably going to look at actually trying to move up here to the cabin full time. Now, the bad news. I mentioned a while ago that she's not working right now. Because something bad's happened to her and she's doesn't, she has a difficult time talking about it. And But I'm going to talk about it and she can jump, she can feel free to jump in at any time if she wants to or to clarify what I'm saying. The other day, well, well, how long ago was it? What, when it was first told about it? Yes. About two years ago. Uh, well, yeah, it actually was about two years ago, but she suffered what could only be described as a uh, hemorrhage of the eyes. And, well, you know, sometimes when something like that happens, people tend to downplay the significance of it. And that's exactly what she did. And I, I didn't know how bad the situation was getting. Well, it got progressively worse, and here was it about three weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, she finally got to a point to where she just flat couldn't see. And I couldn't see good enough to drive. I can still see. Oh, uh, which I can still see out of my right eye. It's my left eye that I'm having trouble with. But we, within the past two weeks, we have found out that there may be something going on with the right eye. And I've got to actually talk to the specialist when I go back on the, February the 8th uh, to find out what exactly he's seeing compared to what just a regular optometrist is seeing. Uh, right now I'm getting different reports. From different people um, 
the original diagnosis was by uh, an optometrist. Optometrist was a detached retina. Um, but when I saw the specialist probably three weeks ago, he said that he thinks it um, it was just a blood hemorrhage. Um, don't know that much about it. Uh, he told me to come back and see him in a month, um, which would be on February the 8th. Um, like I said, I can still see out of my right eye, um, just not good enough to drive. Pretty much what happened is when I saw how bad off she was, I took her car keys from her and I said, your days of driving are done until uh, such time as they can do something with her eyes. Um, we did take, we got her a new prescription for uh, eyeglasses and I took her up there and picked them up the other night and I asked the lady, I says, uh, Hey, do you have an eye chart back here? I want to see just how good she can see. Uh, the lady in the, uh, uh, what was office. it? The, uh, the office there put up the chart for the 2200. 2020. Uh, no, uh, she, she all went all the way down to 2200. She couldn't read an eye chart at 2200. Which means her eyes vision is worse than 2200. So, the new prescription, well, the new prescription, you can actually re read somewhat and uh, see up close, but at a distance, no. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a I, on the way home from there, there was a sign up there, and it uh, was for a medical, for I guess a, a, a hospital, and it, the initial started HCA. She thought the C was an O, and I'm like, uh, no, it's not. And that told me right there uh, that she cannot see well enough to drive. And I know it's hard on her, it's gotta be. And. You know, I just ask the viewers to keep her in your thoughts and prayers here, and uh, we'll just go from there and see what happens. And we'll, once uh, she goes back to the specialist, we'll make another video, and we'll kind of give you an update on as to what's going on with her. But uh, I'm, I'm absolutely sick over it, and I know she is. Keep her in your thoughts and prayers, folks, and uh, we we do appreciate it. Um, well, if you like our video, uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, be sure and s subscribe and uh, ring that notification bell so you'll know when we post our next videos. Until next time, thanks for watching.